Welcome to this Lee Daniels Art Tutorial 3D Layer Scrolling in After Effects. This is a scene from my animation, A Short Epic. Throughout the film, I used this technique to distribute 3D layers to achieve depth with a moving camera. Here's the Photoshop file I used for the scene. It's very simple. Uh, there's a sky layer, distant mountains, middle mountains, and foreground mountains. The middle distance layer is longer than the comp as that's where the action's happening. Save the file as a Photoshop document. I'll just call that scene. Make sure layers is activated. Moving over into After Effects, File, Import, File. Select the file and choose Composition Retain Layer Sizes. Open up the comp. Here are the layers matching the layers in the Photoshop file. As we're working with 3D layers, the first thing to do is to create a camera. So layer, new, camera. Uh, one node camera will be fine and 35 millimeters is fine too. Just click OK. And then what we have to do is shift click all of the layers and just activate the 3D layer tab. You'll notice the view hasn't changed at this point. Uh, if I move over to the custom view and just shift it around, you'll see that all layers are positioned on one plane. So we need to spread them out in 3D space. And to do that, we just move back to the active camera, select all layers using the shift key and then hit P to bring up the position controls. These three numbers on each layer represent X, Y and Z space. So in other words, left and right for X, up and down for Y, and forwards and backwards for Z. So for this scene, we're just concentrating on the final column as we're distributing the layers into the distance. Now we're going to send the sky and the distant mountains a long way back. So I'm going to select the Z parameter for the sky and type in 20,000. And then I'm going to select the Z parameter for the distant mountains and type in 18,000. And then for both of these layers, I'm going to select them both, hit the S key to bring up the scale, and then just drag that right up so they're both slightly bigger than the comp, and then just reposition the mountains. I'm going to leave the middle mountains at zero, and that's because this is where the action's happening, and I find it much easier to leave the central point at zero, so when you drag new elements onto the comp, they're automatically aligned with that layer. Now what we're gonna do is select the foreground mountain, and using the selection tool, just hover over the blue arrow there, and you see a Z appear, and then drag the layer towards, and then we're just gonna move it up slightly to position it. If we move over to the custom view again, and hit the C key, bring up the camera move tool. If we drag that around, you can see those layers now distributed in 3D space, and you can see your camera here looking through. So now it's time to just plot some keyframes for the camera. So we're gonna select the camera and then hit the C key to bring up the camera move tool. And we're just gonna slide the camera across as far as the scene will allow and then hit the P key to bring up the position controls, select a keyframe for the camera, and then we'll just move over to about four seconds, and then using that camera move tool again, I'm just gonna slide the whole scene across. If we just do a quick RAM preview to check the scene, you'll see all of the layers are moving in 3D space. Just as an example of adding a character to the scene, I'm going to import my knight character, uh, select the comp and drag him down to just behind the middle mountain scene and activate the 3D layer tab. Just move him up to the center there. And now if I bring up the position controls for the knight by hitting P, you'll notice that the Z value is zero, which is the same as the middle mountain. So when we scroll along, you'll see he's automatically attached to that layer. And that's because any new layers activated in 3D are automatically placed at zero on the Z space. So now all we have to do is uh, position him how we like. So I'll just rotate slightly and maybe shrink him down a bit. Move him slightly up the mountain. Hit a position keyframe there. Move along to the end and then 
slide him down along with the scene. And then we'll just do a quick RAM preview. And then we have the character walking down the hill. You can add other production elements to the scene using that same technique of distributing layers in 3D space to give your animation some extra detail. That's the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to my Lee Daniels Art YouTube channel where you'll find examples of some of my animated shorts, client work and news about upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.